here we are for the 2023 Shotley Peninsula 50 miles. It's a, a, a full car park. The, uh, the hall before the event. <laughs> to get people going. <laughs> Waiting for the off. Um, thank you very much and welcome to the 2023 Shotley Peninsula 50, our first since 2019. Thank you all for coming and thank you also to our wonderful marshalling crew, both from Essex and Hearts and from Norfolk and Suffolk. Our friends in Norfolk and Suffolk are helping us out on Checkpoint 2 and at the Shotley Church. You'd be pleased to know that although your route instructions mention an alternative at the end, there are no pipeworks being laid through Holbrook today, so you won't need that last paragraph that gives you an alternative um, at the end. Um, we want you to enjoy yourselves, but please let us know if you're in trouble or if you need any help. The emergency number is on the route description. Um, and other than saying have a fantastic time, I'm just going to pass you over to Rob, who also needs to get on the wall. <laughs> He's just going to cover a couple of little points. Then, is there anyone who's starting at 8.30 who hasn't registered? Right. Um, can I just say, have you all registered? Yes? Okay, because otherwise if you've gone off and we haven't got you on the system, we might lose you and we don't want to do that. So just over to Rob with a couple of practical things. Okay. First and foremost, you'll need to remember your number. That we've, all given, that we've given you because you'll be asked for that at a checkpoint just so they can register you in. A um, couple of other things you go through some private land part way down around here where it is marked on the route description as private land please be careful there is a gate to close at, at, uh, as you go on to this private land and we ask you please to to <laughs> note that and to do so. Um, there is also on the route description, part way through, we ask you for a, a date of birth of somebody um, just so that uh, we think you've gone the correct route and you haven't cut any corners. It's a virtual self-clip. It's a virtual self-clip, yeah. It's, uh, it's on a bench by the church in East Bergholt. So you might be asked for that at the next checkpoint at, at Bentley, but we'll see. 
Um, there is some flagging that's been put through a wood, but that's on the second part of the of the um, route. Uh, that's to help you through at night because the paths are a little bit more indistinct and there's been a bit of falling, falling of trees over the last few weeks. Um, there's also um, some footpaths that are likely to cross ploughed fields. We understand some of the fields have been cut over the last week, so we're not sure whether these paths are going to be reinstated properly, but please look out for the areas which have been recently cut and just take care. And finally, um, although the majority of this route is rural, you will be going through some villages, possibly at night, quite close to some houses. We just ask you please to respect the quiet, to be quiet and respect the um, people that live here. Um, we don't want to upset too many people. <laughs> um, and you can particularly remember when you come back into Holbrook here and back to the fields this year. Enjoy the event, take, take it easy. If you do have a problem, please ring the emergency number, as Jill says, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to find you. But keep a note of where you are because we have to find you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's it. So that's just it. have a fantastic so, time, enjoy yourselves, and off you go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Off the first road here into the housing estate and then we go through the alleyway I think onto the fields. And off down the alley. To the dam of the reservoir. Windy. Yeah, that's, that's the drinking water reservoir. Royal Hospital School. Wow. 
Famous duck house with the ducks. So we came back. Uh, New roof. Water on this ploughed field. More open fields. And I think this is the track that takes us down to the, the water's edge. This track towards the water now. This is where we descend onto the beach here. <laughs> Everyone watching him, yeah. <laughs> Five miles. Jane, it's fine. Those sand shots, big stuff on the website. And they'd be long queues. Yeah, well, it was yeah. so funny. We got there. We were the first in the queue. Man on the day. The queue for the people who signed up was enormous. The beach. Oh, out of the wind under some firmer ground. The day before. Yeah. Fighting through the undergrowth up here. Prickly gorse now. Oh. To the beach again. And these steps here. Seawall now. Thank you. Bridge over the railway. We uh, Turn off the off the main road here, up Jimmy's Lane, and then I think the uh, refreshments are up the end there. Oh, I think there's a. There seems to be. I think the checkpoint's up there. Yeah. Checkpoint used to be just back there. I've moved it a little bit. There we come to the checkpoint. Taking our numbers. Oh, okay. 140. 140. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Wait, wait until he's done the numbers. <laughs> Points. What's that? That one. Those two are gone now. Right. We got back to Chris. How about that? Like, one day in the year, I can do it without going back. I'm not going to walk the boat, so I'm not going to have a drink.
View on this corner here. And we've got to mind your head on this branch. It, uh, Off the fields, into the enclosed path. We're ducking and diving to do. Smack your head on that, you know about it. Oh. There's a bit of downhill here. It's amazing how much up and down there is. Oh, it's such a flashish county. Newly planted eucalypts, which are hardly the trees you need to plant in times of drought. Into the dark woods. Just a little footbridge. I can feel the spongy ground here. Must have been quite wet. Ooh! Oh, a nice house at the top there. Up this little dell. Up to a, a style or something. Slow style. I don't think they just don't laugh. <laughs> no laughing. Sorry. He's stuck. Oh! oh. <laughs> Come on, there you go. <sighs> Nelson Potter's residence over. Turn off the road here. There's this footpath into the woods. Through the kissing gate. through the woods. Big puddle to bypass here. And a second big puddle. So it came out of the wood onto this field via this slow style. It's like broken the other side, isn't it? We don't like styles, do we? <laughs> Some runners coming past. Ancient, ancient monument of something. I don't know what it is, and there's no sign. The field of clover. Through a little gap. Oh, onto a road. Where do we go? Through here, is it? Yeah, it's through here. Path through here, enclosed by makeshift wooden fences. Oh, can't put some new posts up. There's some people just ahead here. So we're gonna turn right up here, East End Butchers, Bridal Way.
a little bike here and a big big pile of manure to go on the fields. A turn, another narrow gate, and a turn left here somewhere. Is it here? This little track. Get your Christmas trees here. I'm pretty certain this is where the checkpoint used to be in the old days. At the top of this meadow here. Certain there used to be a checkpoint here. I suspect it's now what is now checkpoint one, but it looks very familiar as a checkpoint. But across this road with care. Okay. Leave this road and turn left down all this lane. Oh, car coming. One field into more shrubs and green lanes. With head banging trees. Kneel down to nibble. Hello. Coming around to Willie Lot's cottage on the hay wain scene. Can you can you use my rocks up there? I'll get on here. Well I want to go have one side off. Alright, oh, okay. It's a bit overgrown. Here's the, uh, the picture. Hi. Hi. It doesn't here. Tap, tap on the wall. Yeah, tap it. I mean, as in the verb. No, I don't want to tap it. Can't you say? This is Fiona tapping on the wall, as it says in the instructions. <laughs> yeah, the instructions say to tap on the wall. <laughs> so, nice little thatched cottage. And we go over the River Star. A paddleboard higher. Wind's going up. Uh, yeah. The water meadows. And somebody rowing. The cows are all walking along. Going somewhere. Down Dedham. High Street. Uh, nice houses along here. Coming to the end of the village now. Estate agents. Here we go, turn right. Through Bridges Farm. I think the barns have been done up. I got a feeling they were all dilapidated. Well, maybe that's all the old work that's been taken down. 
there's a tap just near the uh, the river again. There we go. There's the river just on our right. You can hear the, hear the A12 in the distance, which we're going to cross pretty soon. Up to this drive by this big hotel. That's a bit of topery. Maize growing in the gutter here. So we're coming here to the noisy A12, which we're crossing through this road, looking for wrought iron gates. leaving this road to go through these wrought iron gates which one's open? driveway towards the church which is checkpoint two now we're walking down this very nice avenue of trees and here's the church over here on the right there we go checkpoint two at the church through the lich gate Hiya. Uh, 140. 140. <laughs> Triple one. <laughs> 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 Right, so we're just about to leave the checkpoint. You're, uh, everything's tied up, yeah. Thank you. See you later. Out there. Down through the sugar beet crop. Uh, back into the nice pasture field here. Heading for the uh, A12 again. Now heading east as that last checkpoint was the most westerly part of the course. Coming to the kissing gate. A lot of high palings here for some reason. A little bridge over the river. Oh nice a bit like uh, oh the paddleboard. Okay. Oh, 
cycle park. <laughs> Close the black horse. Black yeah. horse. There's some event going on there. <sighs> Leaving that main road. <sighs> Under the A12. Under the A12. How many hours ago was it when we were over there and seeing people? An hour ago. Like an hour ago we were over there? No, not really. Kissing gates or oh, muddy kissing gates. to the road. Very busy here. Loads of people. The riverbank now on this enclosed path. I think we might start climbing up the hills again soon. Crossing here, oh, very green. I think they must be the last runners. On the edge of the hills now. Oh, going uphill. A lot of people ahead of us. Kissing gate at the top. Churchyard. One. one with the bell cage. So, oh, that's a funny church. Yes. Little bits and pieces. Very old. Yeah. Looks like uh, Roman brick. Roman brick. Very old stuff here. There's a rock on the fence. This is the bell cage. Bells upside down. Mm -hmm. 
और Left into Gandish Road. Going up to one of the famous dog poo bins. And there's the other one. A green, a green or a red. Where have they gone? I hope you get out of this place full dark because there's no lodge way here. Uh, road into the enclosed footpath. Oh, I think the pipe to call the man E5 only. To the sugar wheat fields. Along to a barn. In this wild field just got four random sheep. Yeah, this is the, the damaged bridge we heard him talking about earlier. Don't know what the damage is. Oh, there's a few broken slats. Yeah. Just have to be careful. And there's a gap at this end. We have another broken bridge. Damaged. But this goes anyway. Yeah. slope through the bracken looking for a track ahead at the top fence got it so here's the fence and here's the woodyard and we have to turn to the right of it A lot of wood here. Into the fence, across the gravel drive. That was a tarmac drive. Okay. The pine cones. And a bright, bright turn here. Out of the woods. Oh, it's a semi open through the, uh, the barley. A big modern mansion house. End of the barley field. Turn right. And we should arrive at the checkpoint. Somewhere. Here we come. The case is altered. Wait to you. One forty. One 
Oh, is, the, is the case is altered, not shut. Oh, the case, we're leaving the case is altered. There's some good refreshments here. Run, they ran out of food again. He was born in 1925. Well done. You got there. You did it faster, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you were a bit of trouble. Um, Leaving civilization behind, going down this track. Last time I was here, I smashed my head on a low lying tree which I hadn't seen. Knocked me to the ground there. I'll have to watch out this time. Uh, along the sunflower sea uh, field. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can see where they're taking down these old silos. Across a little bridge. Over the stile. Come up to the railway line. I just checked the GPS when I realised that, but I could see you were right. I don't know where I swing my legs off. Well, it looked as if it was one that you could. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's so high. <laughs> Nothing coming that way. Nothing coming that way. Oh, it's a very modern style. We're going across the furrows of a potato field. Not as bad as the onions. Reservoir, and there's the, the bridge we're going to go across. Alton Water, and this big bridge right across the middle. Uh, I'll tell you in a second. Onto the uh, on the north shore of Alton Water. No, no, you're misreading it. After. Uh, yeah, after Hobart. After Hobart, yeah. You said, you said What's the next one after, yeah. Right. We've just left Alton Water. Going slightly uphill from it. Still two miles to go to Holbrook checkpoint. Road. Follow the bridle way. Look at that mud. 
<laughs> We're heading back towards Holbrook. This is the uh, this is the field we came into first this morning. We went up over that horizon over there. There's the uh, the tower. Almost off the field. I've forgotten about this road. So, we didn't come across this field this morning, we're going direct. Direct to the checkpoint. So, into the checkpoint. Just after seven. One forty. One fifty. Oh, I can smell curry. I can smell curry. There's a lot of people here. A lot of people here. Up we go for the last twenty. Bye bye. See you later. Yes. Finish. Well done anyway. Well done. See you in quite a few hours. <laughs> Just had a funny thing happen with the uh, Garmin's Phoenix 7X because it's a figure of eight. Uh, we got back. We got back to the finish for the halfway point. It thought it finished and wouldn't display the rest of the map, so I had to terminate the first one and uh, restart it and luckily it's showing the, the map for the second half and we cross across the field and nobody in sight now turn through the gap and across the and across the field i think that's probably Probably the pond we take, we, we pass. Yes, yeah, there's a tiny bit of water in it. We go down here. Going up to this road, by this house, where we turn left. There's a whole load of people behind us now. More fields of wheat. We're heading generally towards this water tower in the distance. But not so far now, actually. We're going past this water tower now. But the uh, route description seems a bit off. It's left out to this field that we're in. It might be fresh, and we. Turn right here. About 500 yards and past the church. It might be fresh, then we turn right here. About 500 yards and past the church. And there's definitely rain in the distance. That's the Orwell Bridge. Look 
coming along the bench out right here to the stile. Freeston Tower. The first checkpoint after Holbrook is Walston Church. Got a, a few snacks. Here we are in Shotley Church, having a bit of refreshment, a bit of tea, a few crumpets. We are in the church in Erwarton, the last checkpoint, one stage now until the end. I believe Anne Boleyn's heart is buried here somewhere. I think it's buried under the organ anyway. <laughs> 